Hello friends, I hope you are well and having a beautiful day so far. Welcome to another house project vlog. Today I am in our powder bathroom, which is, I never really thought I'd be making a video in here, but here we are. So this little powder bathroom space is so fun and we are actually going to be Finishing it up today, adding some finishing touches. And if you're new here or don't really know much about our home, we actually moved in in December and we built this home into semi-custom home. So we worked with a semi-custom home builder and we were able to choose some of our fixtures and some of our you know, home elements. But with a semi-custom home, the sky is not the limit. So you only have kind of a small bank of you know fixtures and you know design options you can choose from it really depends on the builder but we just figured that we can really customize and add kind of more charm and elevated pieces once we move into the house and oftentimes it can be cheaper that way of course it takes more effort because you have to do it yourself but you know it is more financially attainable that way so that's what we did with the powder bath space and I feel like powder bathrooms are so fun and for us this is where like all of our guests and friends and family go to the restroom when they're at our house and so I just wanted it to be like a fun and beautiful space and one thing we did add an upgrade when we were building our home with the semi-custom builder in the design center we chose a really fun tile so this is what our tile looks like it's super cute got a little star element and I'll be sure to link everything I can below so I'll link the name of that tile and where you can get it so I'm really glad we went with that because changing tile would be, you know, a really big deal. You'd have to really hire contractors, they'd have to demo and all that stuff. So I'm glad we upgraded that. And then another thing we did in this space recently is we also hired a carpenter to add this vertical kind of shiplap boarded batten to half of the bathroom. So the bottom half of the bathroom. And we love this. So this is what the powder bathroom looked like before we made any changes. It was really just kind of plain and basic and still super nice and great, but we definitely wanted to add a bit more pizzazz. It was definitely out of our element and we weren't comfortable DIYing it ourselves just because one, we don't really know how. We'd love to learn one day, but we're not quite there yet. And two, we don't have all the equipment needed to cut the wood and all that jazz and sand it. So it was a lot easier to hire a carpenter to do that. So that was fabulous. And if you're kind of looking for carpenters or handymen who can help you with your home projects, I definitely recommend joining Facebook groups in your local area and searching at the top of the Facebook group for whatever kind of handyman you're looking for. And then you can see people's recommendations. So that's basically what I did. And I would just check Google reviews until I found one that had good reviews and was available in the next few months because they've actually, at least in our area, have been really high demand because I think with the pandemic, everybody has been staying home and wanting to invest in their home and make it the best it can be. So yeah, just a little tip, but I'm really glad we did that. And today, the plan for today is we are going to just be adding in the finishing kind of decor touches and Brandon's also my favorite handyman. He's going to come down and switch this light. So this light is a perfect example of like what comes with just a builder grade semi custom home. And it's just kind of like this chrome light, you know, it's a fine light, but we just wanted something with a little bit more flair and pizzazz. So I actually have it sitting in a box in my office, which We've had this light in the box for probably almost two months now. It's just we've we haven't gotten to it yet. But today is the day. So hopefully the light is, you know, intact and in good shape because I don't even know if I can return it anymore. It's been sitting in there for so long. So we'll do that. And then another little DIY that I'm gonna be working on is spray painting a few different things. So I wanna get started with that right now because spray paint obviously needs time to dry and I wanna do all the sides and make sure I just have time to do it all today. So I have this frame and I love this piece of art, especially since this is like our guest bathroom. So it says, you make me a better me. And of course, everyone who comes here is so special to us. So just a little reminder and I already have this white frame and instead of buying a black frame, I'm just gonna spray paint this one. So we'll do that and then I have another little frame I want to spray paint for this wall and two little floating shelf frame 
frame shelves, I guess they're called. I'm gonna spray paint those black as well. And I'm also debating if I should spray paint this toilet paper holder as well as our uh, hand towel holder. I really love the black against the white contrast, but I don't know if that's silly and I don't know if the spray paint will get on the towel at all. I'm thinking about it, but I'd really have to make sure it's perfectly dry because I don't want it to kind of rub off of the towel or anything, so. That's the plan, and then of course, like I mentioned, we have some more decor pieces that we'll be styling on the little shelves that I put up on this wall. So let's get to it. So let's start with some spray painting. Another thing I'm kind of debating about is hanging this basket and using it as a little toilet paper basket. I really love the texture it adds, and of course it's practical because we need some place to put the toilet paper, and I definitely put a few more rolls in there just to kind of fill it up a bit. And another thing is adding in a bamboo shade. So I actually have a bamboo shade similar to the ones I have in my office, which I'll show you in a second. Um, I have one this size that I got for two other windows in my office, but I'm thinking it might be nice to add it in here. Again, just for like added texture and it'll blend well with that basket. And it's practical too because you can't really see anybody go to the restroom. Our porch is just on the other side of this window. Um, so someone would have to literally be standing against the window and like looking down, but we have chairs there. So like, it's very not, it's very unlikely that that would happen, but it might be nice just to have a blind there in case someone's changing in here or they really just need some extra privacy. So I'm thinking we'll do that as well. So this is the spray paint I picked up. It's this fusion all-in-one paint and primer and I got the satin black color. So when you are picking out a spray paint, you can kind of tell what it'll look like by the cap. And so it's the satin one is a little bit more on the matte side, but it's not completely matte. So I just went with that one. I like the look of it. And these are the two frame shelves that I'm gonna be adding into the restroom. So I am just going to dust them off, clean them, and then get spray painting. Okay, here's my spray paint setup. It is extremely, extremely windy today, so that might make matters a little trickier, but we're gonna try our best. And another great thing you can do is put down a trash bag if you don't have cardboard, but again, like it's just so windy, the trash bag would be gone in two seconds. So we're gonna just try and hope this setup works, and it is super sunny out today. It's pretty cool out, so that's good actually because with the spray paint, you don't want it to be too humid, um, but it's it's so sunny, so I'm hoping it'll, you know, dry off pretty quickly. Okay, here's how it looks. I probably messed up a few spots, but overall it looks really good. And I, you know, tried my best despite the very windy circumstances. I'm definitely, if I was wearing a different color, you definitely would be able to see some spray paint on me. I also got some spray paint on my nails and my hands, but if that happens to you, you can just take a cotton ball with some baby oil and it'll pretty much come right off. So it's quite fabulous. Spray painting really is such a great DIY or way to kind of give something a new life because I've had these shelves. They were in our first apartment together and we used them for multiple years and they were great. And you know, they really still look super nice, but it does have some nicks in it um, on the ends and kind of on the side, you can see one right here. So spray painting it, it just kind of makes it look like new and you can really customize it to fit your new space. Handyman is up and at it. Is that a phrase? Up and at it? Up and at him? <laughs> he's already moving and shaking. We just removed the light we had there. So now he's hard wiring the new one, which he's done multiple times in this house now. And 
You just followed a YouTube tutorial, right, babe? Uh, Are you just new? You were just born knowing how to do it? I mean, I kind of knew, but I also looked on YouTube. Great resource for YouTube's a great resource. Home stuff. Yeah, so I'll put a tutorial of how he does it because he's not gonna like show step by step just because that would seriously take a long time. Um, but would you say it's pretty easy? Yes. He said yes. You just want to make sure you turn the power off to this right, socket box. because you don't want to get electrocuted, do we now? I can't really tell right now, but this is what the light looks like. So it has some matte black and then it also has some chrome, which I did intentionally because our sink is chrome and we didn't want to switch that out or anything so kind of blends the two different metals and then over here we have like the little glass that covers the light bulbs and I kind of just assumed it came with light bulbs but it doesn't and I definitely want to get like the pretty kind of Edison vintage looking light bulbs because I think those are just so beautiful and I love kind of the warmer light it gives off but I didn't get any yet, so I'll just do that whenever I get the chance to pick up some light bulbs and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. We're about to take a little lunch break, but the light is up. Oh wow, it's so bright, you can barely see it. And this just goes to show the power of a good light bulb because, okay, give it a second. So this light bulb in the middle is like closer to what I'll get tomorrow when we shop for Edison light bulbs. But these two are just kind of like the standard light bulbs and they just do not do it for me. The other one is so much more intricate and soft, so even just changing a light bulb can really elevate your whole space, I feel like. Shelves and frames that I spray painted, there's a couple spots that just got kind of nicked and the white is peeking through, but since it's black, I can just cover it up with some Sharpie. You look good, turn Yeah, I mean, they're not perfect, so don't. There's a little spots that are like, um, you see the, the like, I put too much and it kind of dolloped up, you know? Cause it was hard, it was so windy. Yeah. But it looks good, I really like it. Good. And these are cheap frames so that I got a new. Lunch break time, mm. woo -hoo. You earned it, you deserve it. You earned it. We earned it, we still got a while to go with our projects, but you know, you yeah. gotta fuel up in order to succeed. That's the motto. Dear God, thank you for this day and for this food and all that you've blessed us with. And just thank you for our house and just for an answer to prayers it is. And just help us to honor you with it. And I just love you so much. And bless this food and help to nourish our bodies. Do you say prayer? Amen. Amen. Okay, so we're eating some just taco leftovers and black beans and rice. Guacamole. Fabulous lunch. So we were talking and... Tomorrow, since I don't have the light bulbs, we're gonna go to Lowe's and we're gonna take Palmer for the first time to Lowe's. I'm so excited. I kind of just want to go to Home Goods too because I found out that Home Goods is also dog friendly, which is amazing. Apparently, not every Home Goods is, but the one in our area is. And I saw one at I saw like a little French bulldog in someone's cart uh last week i think it was and i was like oh and i didn't see it was a service animal or anything it didn't have any like you know vest on and so i was like a little surprised but in the best way but i just found that out isn't that so exciting that is it's so cute so we'll get the light bulbs tomorrow but the frames and the shelves are dry um that i spray painted so we can hang those up you want to do that today and then I was telling them that the blinds, the bamboo blind, like I think that'd be good in there. Cause like if someone's in there and wants to change or something, they could at least put that in, you know, and it could be good, an additional texture. Cause we would have that. And then we would also have 
that little basket with the toilet paper. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I'd have to order another shade for my office because then I'd have, because I ordered two for the small windows in my office and we would only use one for the powder. So I'd have to order another one for, which is fine, but they're out of stock right now. So mm. I'd have to wait for that, but I kind of just want to like finish the powder bathroom completely, you know, and they've been out of stock before and then come back in stock. So it's just kind of how it is, I think. Can you get them in multiple places? Like yeah, but I checked all the places. They're all gone. So what do well, you think? It's good to have multiple places. Too. Um, I Whatever I think. <laughs> Usually that's it's the, the same answer. size. <laughs> yeah, I'm 99% sure. I haven't, I don't think I measured it, but I'm pretty sure it's the same size. So we definitely, of what course, want to measure it. Oh, that's like a sour cream thing. You should put it on your bowl. Sorry. That's for it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. That'd be nice mm. to know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need a fork. This is the Hello Fresh? Mm-hmm. You got so last. many tacos. This is the last fork. We need to run the dishwasher. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. Last fork. Delish. So yeah, all we have to do left is hang the shelves, hang the frames, hang the little basket, and hang the blinds. That's oh, it. Oh, well, good. That's great. <laughs> That's it. It's nothing. It's already 1.30 basically. So, the day just flies by when you're doing house projects. Okay, I'm so happy with how the frames turned out. I feel like the contrast with the font of this print with the black frame just helps it pop so much more and it looks amazing. And then I printed out this sweet picture of Palmer and again, it just looks so, so cute. And I was kind of strategic with picking what photo I wanted to print out for the powder bathroom because it is a bathroom after all. I don't really want a picture of us in there <laughs> while people are just going to the bathroom. That's like not really, you don't want them to think of you. <laughs> so I thought Palmer was a fabulous, fabulous option and just look how cute. You can't look at that face and not smile. I typically just print out our photos at Walgreens. Um, they don't have a ton of options. Like if you want matte print, I know you can do that um, and online and they'll ship it to you, but we usually just do the glossy one and it's like 20 cents. So super affordable and you can usually get it in the same day. Cutest handyman in the world. <laughs> I picked up these little hand towels from Home Goods, and they're this really pretty gray striped pattern. And basically, my idea is just to roll these up and put them on one of the frame shelves, just kind of as a little element to put on the shelves because we only have some bathroom spray on there and then a frame. So I'm trying to find like other things to style on there. Here's what we're working with so far. This is how I styled the shelves. So we have just a little candle, little room spray, the little towels, and then 
This is the best shelf because it has Palmer, but I just have this jar or bottle, I mean, that we got from kombucha when we bought some kombucha in North Florida. So I just thought it was kind of cute and I put some eucalyptus in there and then of course the picture and a little candle. So this will probably just change a little bit as I tweak it, but I think it's super, super cute. Hello, hello. It is the next day and we are about to head over to Lowe's. We're taking this little cutie, his first time going to Lowe's, so that'll be a good little family adventure. Just going to pick up some new light bulbs for the lamp or the light in the bathroom and just a few other things. So let's get on our way. I'm wearing head to toe Adidas today and it's so comfy. I love this set so much. This shirt is super cute. It's like a little crop top and then the pants are just so comfy and my first pair of Ultra Boosts. So. We're just all comfy, ready for our little Lowe's trip. Bye, Kurt. You wanna look here? Sure. I mean, we need light wool. Good boy. Good boy. You're being so good in those. Good boy. They barely fit in the light. They look cool though. I like how they're more yellow. You can kind of see them more. Nice. Ooh. Works. Ah. Maybe you should keep like that. Three different light bulbs. Oh yeah, three Pretty different good. light bulbs. That's such a cool, funky Ooh, flare. <laughs> This is what the powder bathroom looked like before our little refresh. And this is what it looks like after. vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it was a good little adventure shout out to the best candy man of all time right that's you just own it and we cannot wait to see you super soon